What's with the Assalamu alaikum man Shalom alaikum man Shalom 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 What's with the 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 angry people Why cannot Muslims observe Sabbath I'm Muslim I get judged by other Muslims criticized by other Muslims I have Muslims tell me that I need to be guided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be put on the right path because I have an opinion that Muslims should observe Sabbath. Not saying that it's obligated, but that we should just observe Sabbath just because, just because the former prophets observed it. I mean, we mimic everything else that the past prophets have done. Why not mimic that as well? It's a holy day. I mean, it wasn't obligated in the Quran or in Sunnah to observe Sabbath. Maybe because it was already known. And maybe, I'm just saying, maybe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't make that mandatory for us because it was already known in the world of Sabbath. There were already Jews that was amongst the Prophet Muhammad and his companions that were observing Sabbath. So why do you have to be told to do something you already know to do? That's just my opinion. However, if that's not true, let's just play devil's advocate. It's not true. I still want to observe it because the past prophets observed it. I mean, why not? Why not? That's all I want to... That's my only question. Why not? That's what I want to know. I mean, what's the big... Yeah, what's the big deal? Because you have a lot of Muslims that's just... oppose what Jews do. So Muslims like to do what the Jews don't do and vice versa. And it's like, this is supposed to be a faithful race, a peaceful, faithful race towards the Most High, towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says in the Quran to, 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 to have a race to Him. Compete in faith. Compete with Imam. Together. We don't have to be opposed to one another. We all believe and worship the Most High, the same one God that all the prophets have told us to worship. We all worship that one God. Why can't we all just get along? It sounds cheesy, but it's like, it's like, why not? What's the problem? I mean, Juma, yeah, it's a holy day for us. Which is the day that the prophet, uh, that, that Adam was created. And right after is Sabbath. The day that Allah finished everything. So why, what's the problem? Friday is a good day because Adam was, was created that day. And I believe the, 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 the hour is going to come on that day. It's a very special day, just like the next day is very special. I mean... To be honest, every day is special. And if you worship Allah every day, then every day is holy. So what's the problem? What's the problem? What's the problem? Observe Sabbath. What would it do? What harm is that doing to your imam? It, it only increases my wallahi. Wallahi, what do you do on Sabbath? What do you do on Sabbath that Muslims are subjected to not to not do it? Do they do they eat pork on that day? Do they do they do a bunch of haram on that day? Do they ignore Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Do they neglect the sayings of the Prophet Muhammad? May peace be upon him. Do they stay away from the Quran and Torah and the Tanakh? Because that's the complete opposite. On Sabbath, you do those exact things. You come closer to the Most High. You get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
you get closer to the prophets by learning more about them, by reading Torah, by reading Tanakh, by, by, by reading the Gospels of Yeshua, of, of, of Isa, Jesus, of, 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 of reading Quran, pondering on Allah and his creation. This is what you do on the Sabbath. So why not observe it? Because the Jews do that. This is not for us, brother. This is not for us. This is for this is for the Jews, not for the Muslims. Oh, brother, I, I pray Allah guides you. Guide me? From what? From what? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing so so what am I doing so wrong that I need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide me? Because I'm asking my brothers and sisters to observe Sabbath. I'm asking my Ummah to observe Sabbath because it's a very, it's a holy day. What's the problem? I have people messaging me and, and, and commenting me about me being a horrible Muslim because I'm speaking about Sabbath. It's stuff for the law, man. SubhanAllah, man. That, that, this, this is why, this is the problem with the Ummah. First of all, everyone is so judgmental. Muslims being judging, judgmental on other Muslims, criticizing other Muslims. When they're not even cleaning their own front yard or their own backyard or not getting their own lives straight. Some Muslims that don't even pray for it today. Sometimes some Muslims that haven't even prayed before. You have some Muslims that know nothing about the Quran. You have some Muslims that memorize the entire Quran but can't even elaborate not one verse. Can't give me the meaning of anything that's in the Quran. What's the point of memorizing something? Just to say you did it? That's not going to work. Man. Allah is not going to accept that. Just so you can boast? It's for ego. I had a brother the other day uh, that was judged me. And I asked him, we got to a conversation about the jinn. And he had no idea what the jinn was. He never even had a conversation about the jinn. But he told me he read the entire Quran. How did you read the whole entire Quran but it didn't come across the jinn? When that's one of the stories. This is the problem with our Ummah. But they judge me. Oh, brother, you can't wear jewelry. Why? Because it's haram. Why? How is it haram? It's not a part of your culture. That's why you don't wear it. It's a part of my culture. My culture, we wear jewelry. We don't worship the jewelry. We don't idolize the jewelry. We just like it. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it beautiful and, 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 and marbleized in our eyes. So we marble at it. It's beautiful. So we like it. So we keep it. So we wear it. What's the problem with it? Allah says in the Quran that he made things for us. To, 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 uh, uh, he made things beautiful so we can see it and enjoy it. What's the problem? He speaks about uh diving about diving in the ocean and and, 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 and and grabbing its pearls from out the ocean to do whatever i mean what's the problem with gold i had another person say oh he's wearing a gold durag or a gold you're not supposed to wear gold why not but then they're so quick to speak about a man named mansa musa the richest man in the world they're so quick to brag that how he was muslim but he had the most gold in the on the earth. He wore gold. He wore gold and jewelry. But they're so quick to, 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 to claim him. But they judge people who live like him. This stuff for Allah. It's just part of my culture. I have Nigerian in me and 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 which is African. Uh, Africans, we like gold. We like to, we like to, we, we we like to shine, man. What's the problem? You know, I mean, we all gonna have our hour and our and, and our hot minute on Judgment Day with Allah Subhanahu wa Taala for all our actions, and we're all gonna be accountable for what we do on our own. So why judge this person? Say Alhamdulillah that this man is Muslim and that he's on the right path. However, he's not a perfect Muslim because Muslims are not meant to be perfect. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said he would destroy us if we were that. If we were perfect, why would he need us to be perfect for? He has the angels. Not perfect. 
neither are you. But you want me to be like you, and you're not even perfect. Come on, man. That's not fair, man. Alhamdulillah that he's Muslim and move on. That's it. You know? What's the problem? I listen to my music, and on Judgment Day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will judge me on that. I see nothing wrong with it. Other Muslims do. Other Muslims don't see nothing wrong with it. I'm not the only Muslim that listens to music. <laughs> I'm not the only Muslim that wears jewelry. I'm not the only Muslim who has tattoos, that have gotten tattoos in the past. Um, I'm not the only Muslim that does a lot of things that normally Muslims don't do. But you're not going to sit up here and get on the internet and then see a Muslim doing something that you don't normally do and criticize that Muslim as if you're the pious Muslim of them all. All of us Muslims need, all of us Muslims can, is, there's room for improvement for all of us. We all can be better. But that's just what makes us human. And this is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made us. Not perfect. Just enough to worship him. Just enough reasoning to worship him. Allahu Akbar. Man. What's the problem, bro? I just want to know the problem. If somebody could tell me the problem, then I, I analyze it and, and, I, and, and I'll ponder on it. And, and wallahi, I'll work it within my life. Inshallah, Allah makes it easy for me. However, don't just judge me to judge me because you can. You know what I mean? Wallahi, I love my Ummah so much, but our Ummah is effed up, man. It's a lot of racism in our Ummah, a lot of prejudice in our Ummah. And I've witnessed it all, man. I always got the back end of Islam, especially going to masjids, and I still remain a remain a, a, a devout Muslim. I still love Subhan Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. I still love the Prophet, and peace be upon him, all the prophets, even though they lie on the Prophet and say a lot of things about the Prophet. You know, although they 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 they, they fabricate hadiths and sayings and, and of, of people lying about the description of the Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, not speaking about the real uh, uh, ancestry of the Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, and how he was dark-skinned and a dark Arab and came from black Arabs, with black Arabs having African ancestry, maternal and paternally, but hey, the Prophet says don't get angry. So I won't get angry. However, I will address it. But what's the problem? If I'm not making a big deal and a big problem about things within the Ummah that I myself suffer from, enough that if a person had weak Imam and was, was, and was within Islam and encountered the things that I encountered, they would have been left Islam. Wallahi, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, my imam is strong. But you got a audacity to judge me because I just say that as Muslims, we should observe Sabbath. I say that and then I'm just not on the right path anymore. God forbid. Wallahi, wallahi, it does not hurt me at all. It just bothers me that we call our, uh, ourselves Muslims and we criticize each other, and our brothers and sisters, the way we do. I don't even get salam from other Muslims. When I salam them, they don't even salam me back. They give me an, a head nod or what's up. I get, I'll be lucky if I even get a response because of the color of my skin. Wallahi, man, I just wish, I just wish, you know, our Ummah gets better. But I know it's only going to get worse because of the sayings of the Prophet Muhammad said. He said it, it's going to get worse. His Ummah is going to be bad. There's a dream that Allah, that the Prophet Muhammad, the peace be upon him, had about sheep. I'm not going to get into all of that. But, um, but yeah, man, what's the problem? Muslims, 
Brothers and sisters, observe Sabbath. Why not? Assalamu alaikum.